Hey guys, welcome to the show. June Archer here, with the Winner Circle on ThisIs50.com. I have some amazing young men who are now on the new season of Bros on BT, brought to you by the one and only Tyler Perry. Please welcome to the show Barry, Marty, Philip, and Monty, the cast of Bros. Gentlemen, what's going on? What's up, sir? Thank you. How are you doing? I'm so excited for you guys. New season. Last season, we got some, some appetizers as to who the bros were, what they were getting themselves into, what kind of trouble they were getting themselves into, the kind of conflict that happens with brothers. Let me start with you, Barry. For you, how was it working with this cast of brothers? Oh, man, it was amazing. It was definitely, uh, sometimes you don't know, uh, you know, people don't like who they work with or, you know, and then you hear people find families in their workplace. And that's what I felt like I found with these guys, man, a brotherhood that will always be um, and just relationships that I have for life. And I'm very grateful and I'm very grateful to Mr. Perry and the casting and everybody that's casted these young men for us to all be together. It's been a blessing. It's been an amazing journey. And I'm so looking forward to the next steps and the next things for us. Well, Marty, I'm gonna go to you, man. Are light skinned brothers making a comeback? <laughs> or did y'all even or did y'all even leave? I just I just want to know. <laughs> I mean, listen, like I, I think that yeah, it makes sense that that that, that we gotta represent a light skin in this show, <laughs> especially because Barry gets good jokes out of it. So uh <laughs> keep, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Keep watching it and, you, and you'll see even better jokes from Barry about it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Philip, for you, in this show, bruh, um, one of the things I, I, I want to ask is bro code. Do we break any bro codes? Do we educate our sisters about certain things that kind of go along with the bro code? In real life? <clears throat> no, in the show. Oh, in the show, do we break show. bro code? Left and right, we break bro code. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like <laughs> we shouldn't, but there's always the opportunity to break bro code. I feel like it's, it's everywhere, but that's why the code is there. So you don't break it. So there's some kind of standard set in place. So you don't do this, you do do this. But in the show, left and right, left and right is broken. Monty, for you. Is chivalry dead or do we need to let these sisters know that, listen, we're here, the bros want to make sure that, you know, chivalry is not dead, but is it dead or is it not dead? It's comatose. It's not dead. Um, it's comatose. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's there, but it's a, it's a combination in real life. I think, um, with the emergence of women's empowerment, which I speak for all the bros on this, we all for, you know what I'm saying? And with the emergence of uh, women empowerment, sometimes uh, speaking from a male perspective, uh, women can forget that dudes can be gentlemen's without, a gentleman without being a simp, without trying to have some undercutting thing. And just like, I'm gonna show you respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know you can do it all on your own. Y'all proving it time and time again. But sometimes allow a man to be a man, be a gentleman, do all the chivalristic stuff. Um, and I think there are now there's some bums. Let's keep it 100. There's a lot of bums that's overshadowing the, 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 the chivalry, which is making it comatose, but it ain't dead. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's taking a long nap. It caught COVID. It's recovering. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's being resuscitated, but chivalry <laughs> is not dead. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I like to hear. Now, okay. cuffing season is upon us, gentlemen. Cuffing season <laughs> is coming up. And the weather's starting to change, at least out here in the Northeast. Uh, Barry, I'm going to go to you first, man. Okay. What do you do as cuffing season approaches? Give me one thing that you could do to serenade or, you know, uh, entice a young lady to say, hey, baby, listen, the next six months is me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have some, uh, some heat in your own place. That is definitely... <laughs> An inviting space, heat, and your own spot. And keep, keep it clean. A little, little Febreze, a little, you know, <laughs> antibacterial wipes. Um, and you got to be all extravagant. Just real simple. Have you a nice little futon, clean sheets, clean comforter, and some good heat. 
and you got a chance because women just want to feel at home, you know. I think that <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, Philip, for you, same question, but a little different. Do you put on big Luther or skinny Luther? What cuffing season? Like, what are you playing? Oh, you gotta go big Luther. For me, you gotta, okay. go, <laughs> you, you gotta go big Luther, man. Like, who else is there? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Marty, same question, a little different. Are you red wine or are you white wine? What do you do? Cuffing season. What what are you presenting when you come over with the with the Nashi station, cheese and crackers, wine, grapes, red wine or white wine? I mean, I just like to have options, right? So it's usually I, I keep it like uh whatever you whatever your flavor is. So I got a Ooh. little bit of everything. So whatever you might want. I got here, therefore it's very inviting to, to come pay me a little visit, you know? Oh, oh, so you should be trying to provide a room service. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Okay, Monty. Monty, same thing. What you're doing. Monty, is it back rub or is it foot massage? What are you what are you providing uh, uh, for that that, that all season? that all depends on um what stage of the cuffing we're on. Uh earlier stages, we don't touch feet. Um the, <laughs> The back okay. rub, we good with I'll, the back rub. You know what I'm saying? We back can rub, okay. Only you can give a little back. You can give a little back your shoulder with the shirt on. You gonna make sure they're comfortable. It's all about consent. You know what I'm saying? But when we come to the feet, now nah, we out of cuffing season. We going into we 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 together season if we doing feet. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's lockdown season if you get to do cuffing oh, season. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, okay. It's I a got wrap. you. I got you. Okay. Okay. So. They say music is a soundtrack to our lives. So I want to ask you guys, what song best represents your journey up to this point? Monty, I'm gonna start with you and work my way back. Uh, as a character or personally? Uh, I'm gonna say a little bit of both. Okay. Um, well, Bill's is, um, <laughs> Bill's, Bill's, a, Bill's a hot mess. Um, Never leave you alone. That's gonna be Bills. Um, Monty's. Um, I, my my season is just it's J Cole, man. It's 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 J Cole's right now. It's the grind. It's the off season. It's preparing yourself mm. for better. It's allowing yourself not to get complacent or fall into uh, any old habits. So for me personally, it's definitely J Cole having that hunger, keeping our off season going. Philip, how about yours? Your characters uh, soundtrack and your soundtrack. <laughs> Oh, for oh, the song, the song, the song that best represents your journey up to this point, and let's just say the theme song for your character. Let's do that. Uh, all right. For Mike, I'm gonna say "Tooted and Booted." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then for me, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Drake, Kanye, Eminem, forever. Okay. All right, so. Barry. Um, my, my character, John is, uh, how do you want it? How do you feel coming up as in, in the trash can living in the face? <laughs> That's John's <laughs> and mine, Barry Brew is, uh, a Marvin Sapp never would have made it without you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and lastly, Marty, yours. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say for Tom, we'd, we'll do, uh, we'll do moment of clarity, Jay-Z. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, can't go uh, wrong with Jigga Man. You can't, uh, man. You can't. And that he brings all the elements to that one. And then let's see, for 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 Marty, for my my everyday life, I would say um uh let's go Kanye West, monster. Ooh. Monster. There oh, it is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the bros, Monty, Philip, Barry, and Marty. I am your host, June Archer. You can check him out on BT Plus, brought to you by Tyler Perry. Make sure you check these guys out. These guys got jokes. Lightskin Brothers are making a comeback, and cuffing season is upon us, so make sure you took notes. Thank you all for joining us. God bless you all. Peace. Thank you. Thanks, June.